Alright guys, today we're going to try Heli Only Chimps. I have no idea if this is even possible. I'm trying on an advanced map as well, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. But yeah, we're going to start off with my Heli, um... What's the, what's the bind for the Heli? One sec, one sec. Okay, it's B. Press B to place Heli. Okay, cool, cool. We're going to start with our Heli right there. I thought this map would be cool because there's so much space. And I do have to start with $17.30 here because, again, the Heli's, um, you're not going to start, you're not going to be able to afford a Heli off the rip and chimps mode. So I kind of had to, it's an artificial challenge. It's an artificial challenge. But yeah, these early rounds should be a breeze. But, but the nice thing is, though, that this, even though the map's a hard map with like all these barriers and stuff, it doesn't really affect the Heli because I can move the Heli around everywhere, you know what I mean? That's one nice thing about the heli on this map. Plus, you, there's just so much space for it. Now, by the way, guys, this, this challenge was inspired by my good friend Aluki, and he has made a lot of challenges in like sniper only chimps. Um, spack. Oh my gosh, I just died. I'm trash this game. Like spike factory only chimps. Um, he did sniper only chimps, ace only chimps, all that stuff. So if you are interested in these types of videos, go check out his channel down below. It's awesome. But if you want to see more of these videos on my channel as well, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, these black balloons are starting to push a little bit. I need to get my heli targeting correct okay it looks like we're good there so i have the btd6 rounds pulled up and it looks like the first camel balloon comes out around 24. so i could try to go for my razor rotors but then i don't know if i'm going to go forward oh wait one sec oh oh no i messed up my targeting okay i don't know if i go for my razor rotors here i don't know if i go forward the camel detection is the thing maybe if i target my heli we're just gonna shoot backwards at the balloons like against the grain it's gonna be best for this round Oh, that looks like it's okay. That's a lot better. You saw how I struggled last time, but now this time it was a breeze. It's all about the heli targeting here, guys. Oh, it's, it's next round. Okay, one sec. Oh, I could have went for my rotors, I think. I think I'll go for my rotors and then get the camel detection next round. Yeah, this should work. This should work. If it doesn't, I'll have to restart the whole run. But the rotor is going to help out so much here. Oh, and look at that. We get it in time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we have camel lead popping power, which is fantastic. Let's actually look at the upgrades. How much do these cost? Downdraft is 3,200. Moab shove. Oh, it's Moab shove. It's 3,700. I think I might go down draft because then it has camel section as well. I can go quad darts with down draft. Might be the play. And now I think that might defend a Moab. A rotors and a down draft. Because the down draft is so good, guys. The one nice thing about DTs is we will have a, we will be able to get Moab shoves to slow down the DTs. But again, I don't know which heli upgrades are going to be good against those guys. Okay, rainbow balloons. And now I think we might just save up money because I don't know. There's no chance we... I still don't think there's a chance we save up get the Apache Dart ship in time. But I'd rather be... Oh, I just thought... Wow, okay. I'd rather just be careful and don't put my money in something wrong. So I'm just going to save up here for as long as I can, basically. Oh, dude, these balloons are actually pushing so much. Oh, my gosh. Oh, clutch, clutch. Dang it. Huh. These rainbows are pushing a little bit. We have a lot of money now, though. Okay, let's see how we do against... Oh, wait, the mob comes out in the other direction. I forgot about that. That actually changes up stuff up so much. Let's try this again. Oh, dude, look at the down draft. Go there. Oh, yes. Okay, that did, that, the down draft really clutched up there. Awesome. DDT is, again, I think are going to be a really big issue, though, for us, which I'm concerned about. I don't know if I, I don't know if going on an advanced map was a good idea for this guy. I don't know if going on an advanced map was a good idea. Okay, lots of balloons coming. Oh, oh one red balloon, dude. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, yes, we're, we're doing a lot better that time around. Heli targeting makes such such a big difference here. Here, one sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna go home real quick, and then I want to see how I can pop DDTs with Heli only. I'm gonna test it out a little bit. So that doesn't work. Okay. Um. Well, that's good to know. It looks like Apache doesn't even hurt them. I think Apache Prime though does, does shoot like laser blasts or whatever, which I think do hurt DDTs if I remember correctly. Let's see. Okay, Apache Prime can hurt DDTs. That's good to know. Oh, he does. Look at that. He's actually doing a lot of damage. I guess these are just non-fortified DTs, though. All right, guys. We now have 13 Razor Rotors. This is about equivalent pricing to Apache Prime. So we'll see how well the Razor Rotors deals with DTs. I think they do damage them. Wait, does the Rotors... Oh, the Rotors does damage them, but it's so insignificant. Oh, my gosh. They're doing, like, no damage. Yeah, Rotor Spam's not really good. Dang it, dude. Helis versus DDTs are going to be such an issue. Okay, I've concluded there's zero chance I can win on this map with advanced map because of DDT rushes later on. So I'm actually just going to switch it to logs real quick um, because I do want to win this. And yeah, we'll start this over real quick. So let's do it. Early game will be an absolute breeze. So I'm going to skip through all of this for you guys. All right, so one thing I'm definitely going to change from this time around is I want every single cent I spend on defense to be something that's going to help me against DTs, right? So I'm not going to build up like a downdraft, probably. I'll be getting up a lot of Razor Rotors because Razor Rotors do damage DTs just a little bit. I want to get that Apache Prime. I'm going to get that Special Pop Operations. And maybe I'll get still like the Moab Shoves and stuff to also slow them down. But 
other stuff I'm not I'm not gonna get any like um bottom fifth tier path helis or Apache just a normal Apache dart chips or anything like that because that's not gonna be helping me against DTs if that makes sense but yeah early game so far has been a complete breeze I just have three razor rotors down right now and I'm just day chilling here sitting back in my chair relaxing you know what you know the vibes boys you know the vibes okay guys so I've now forwarded my Apache dart chip now again this guy's gonna do literally nothing against DTs but if I can save up to the $50,000 upgrade pretty much before round 90, then that's going to help out against DTs the most, I think, out of anything. So that's kind of the goal here. It's kind of the goal. Just save it for this Apache Prime now. All right, we're now in round 63. Let's see how we do here. Oh, dude, such a breeze. This Apache is literally so good until you have to deal with, like, Zebra and Black Balloon, um, stuff that has that property, like DDTs. But these rounds are, have just been a breeze so far, especially on logs. But again, DDTs, I think, are just going to be the big issue here. So I don't know. Ooh, region balloons this round. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. Um, let's try targeting a little bit better, possibly. Just at the first balloon, basically, the entire time. I think I may have just region farmed harder. Um, oh no, dude. We're literally like $5,000 off, too. I think if I... The part that's annoying is if I only went for... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I was going to say, if I went for one less Razor Rotors, it might be before my Apache Prime, but that's not the case. Okay, one sec. How am I going to defend with this? I might just need a bunch of Rotors here. As sad as that is. I might just need to spam Rotors. Because I can't afford a, I can't afford Special Populations, and the bottom path is not going to do anything, and the middle path is not going to do anything either. And I don't want to go for another Apache, because that's not going to help me with DTs. I feel, like, I feel like we're doing a lot better here. Oh, so much better. Okay. Wait. Oh! I probably should have tried it with a little bit less helis now, because now I have a bunch of helis, and I might not be able to form my Apache Prime bear on 90. I probably should have tried it with, like, two less Razor Rotors or whatever, you know what I mean? Well then, I guess we'll see how we do now. I could have, I might, might have just screwed myself, guys. I might have just screwed myself. Oh, this round actually gives you so much money, because there was, like, region rainbows under the, all of the mobs, so I just got so much money that round. Okay, I need about 18,000 more dollars, so in, in 11 rounds, I think that's possible. I feel like if we have the Apache Prime, we'll be fine against around 90 DTs. But again, the question is, round 95 DTs, round 98, D 99 DDTs, those are going to be the issue, I think. All right, about $10,000 off now. We've been actually making a lot of money these rounds, which is fantastic. This round pushed a little bit far, but we're good. So many BFBs this round. All right, pop some of these BFBs down real quick, and then we'll deal with the insides. Heli targeting is everything here. Oh, there's four to five BFBs at the end, too. Okay. Fortified might actually be somewhat of an issue here. The nice thing about helis is you can target them properly to just do one at a time, so then... We don't have to deal with like all the fast mobs coming out at the same time, you know what I mean? Gives us a lot more time to defend it overall. Okay, yeah, I think we're good here. Let's slow it down real quick. Fortified Cerams actually have so much health here. Okay, we're good. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. $3,000 or so. Oh, look at all those mobs. Okay, I actually might be able to afford it this round. If I pop enough of these balloons fast enough. Because I might need it this round. Oh my gosh, there's so many ceramics. How much is it? 40,600? We're almost there. Come on. There we go. I got it. I got it. Oh, and now it's a breeze, dude. It made s it's light and day now. Look at this guy shred. Oh my gosh. Apache Prime is cracked out of its mind. Wow. Okay. Now I can just chillax. All right, round 90. Here we go, guys. Here we come. I do not have enough for my spe special operations. I could go for a mob shop if I want, but I'd rather save the money right now so I can have some defensive strategies if um, everything goes crazy. Try to target these properly. Okay, it looks like we're popping them. Yeah, we should be fine on this round. We should be fine on this round. We are okay. But those did push quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. Three DDTs were somewhat of an issue there um, for Heli. So once we get like round 95 DDTs, I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is, this is kind of nerve wracking. Okay, wait. 93 has DDTs as well, I guess. Try to use the rotors to my advantage to make, make sure the rotors are popping the layer as well. The darts it shoots doesn't pop the layer, but the rotors itself does help. Oh, we're good. Okay, that was scary. I'm not confident, guys. I'm not confident right now in the heli. Oh, this is going to be rough. This is going to be really rough. The thing is, all the other balloons are completely easy. It's just the DDTs. Okay, here we go. Start to target the first ones now. This does not look good, guys. This does not look 
good at all. Oh my gosh, that does not look great. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll first try, we'll do Razor Rotors all over the map. We're actually dealing decent damage this time. But they're just pushing so fast is the thing. And there's still more coming is the problem. All right, let's try getting some mob shoves. Mob shove is actually a great upgrade. We're gonna, we're actually gonna um, lock and place some of them, and the reason is, I want to stun uh, DTs all around the map here. We'll see how this does. If this doesn't work, I don't know, dude. I might need to try to do it with this, try to get the special populations and Apache Prime, and then I'll have to restart the whole thing. Look how much the mob shove stunned it though. The mob shove stun is actually insane here. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Come on! Pop them! No. The problem is the Moabs, though, that come out are blocking the mob shoves from working on the back DDTs. That's actually the biggest problem. None of the back DDTs are getting stunned because the mob shoves are all stuck on the front ones. What if I just go for, like, one or two mob shoves on first, on fall touch, and then I go for rotors with the rest of my money? No, dude, there's still so many left. It's the thing. There's still so many DTs left. Let's just try a bunch of mob shoves, but leave them all on um first, maybe. All on follow mouse. But then when the mobs come around, everything messes up. Wait, we're actually doing really good this time, maybe? Dude, we're actually getting close. We're actually getting close. It still pushes so hard. Try to get like two down drafts or three down drafts, maybe. Just so then all the balloons get instantly blown back. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright guys, we're, we're trying again from the start. We're trying again from the start. I, I need to take a different approach. I don't think it's possible with the approach I took. So I'll catch y'all back again in a while, I guess, bro. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, I've taken a completely different approach this time. I went for a special operations approach instead of going for the Apache Prime. And let's see how it does against the DTs. Well, it's gotten strong, of course. He actually popped them, okay. Now, the question is, can we defend round 95? Now, I'm trying to save it for my Apache Prime in time, but I don't think I will be able to. I still need 20 more thousand dollars, so... I might just go for the Moab Shove Spam with the special operations and get up a few more Razor Rotors as well and see if that can handle, but... Again, I'm uneasy about round 95, guys. I feel like if we can beat it, though, we might have it in the bag. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. We're on round 93 now. I forgot there's DTs on this round. Let's see if we can solo this without getting up a... um. If we can solo this without getting up a mob shove, that would be cool. Just want to test how good the special popper... Oh, dude. This guy is shredding. Let's get another one down there. Please, please, please. We actually defended them. Dude, I'm actually feeling a little bit more confident now. These Marines are good. They're actually good against DTs. Because the thing about the Apache Prime is um only like... This Apache Prime shoots darts... The laser blasts and the missiles and i think only the laser blasts hit the ddt's while the special operations all the darts this guy shoots hits ddt's so his like pop and power is maximized there if you get what i'm saying i think that's why this guy might be better yeah i got it back on cooldown because i want my first marine to be over here for around 95. now i'm expecting to get absolutely destroyed here that's why i'm gonna need to go for upgrades with my forty-four thousand dollars. but i just want to test how good these guys are let's put these guys in strong as well okay that does not look good that does not look good i'll be i'll be honest guys but now if I go for some Moab shoves, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that's all I can go for now. So, now if we do this, this we might do a little bit better because I have some Moab shoves now. Let's go for the Marine right about here on strong. Because the DDTs are stronger than the Moabs, I think. So, we'll target DDTs on strong. Nice. Want to get another Marine right there on strong as well. Strong. Come on, Marine. I need you to put in the work here. I think this placement was bad on the Marine. I do think that placement's kind of poor. Question is, can I save it for another one in time? Dude, we're actually doing really good. Oh my gosh. No, I died. This actually is probably possible, I think. What if I just go for uh, mob shoves? What if I only go for mob shoves? That might screw me over for later rounds, though, like round 98 and stuff. Because those rounds are actually going to be harder if I don't go for more defense, you know what I'm saying? So maybe I still go for more rotors, actually. The nice thing is I can start the round round off with two marines on the map. Oh, why is it placed up there again? That's, that's odd. Okay. I want you just to pierce through, basically. The marine needs to do all the work here. 
because my helis are going to do like nothing in comparison. The helis are basically for cleanup. Oh, some of these helis don't have IRFR on them, I just realized. Marine. Over here. Strong. Come on. No. We're getting so close. We're getting so close. Okay. What if I go for another Apache? Because the Apache is going to help me a lot like, for the future rounds and for the insides. So go for another Apache here with IFR. And then the rest of my money will go into mob shoves. Come on. No. It's so close. It's so close, dude. Okay, we need to stun these. Get my Marine back. Wait, why did I place it up there? I swear my heli was not. Come on, Marine. No, I... Okay. I'm so close. I'm so close. Let's try just all my money in, in mob shelves, I guess. This is going to prepare me worse for the future rounds. But it will prepare me better for this round, I think. So, I don't know if that's the move. Let's also put my first Marine up here. Because this one will get... It dies out pretty quickly, so I'll go to an early attack on the DDTs. Wait, we're doing so good this round. All the mob shoves made such a big difference. We literally just shredded. Okay. But now the question is, can we finish the rest of the rounds now? Because I now have tons of mob shoves and less DPS, you know what I mean? But this round just got destroyed. Wow. We, de we defend the ceramics, right? Round 98 might be an issue, though, now. Round 98 could be an issue, which I'm concerned about. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford another Apache on round 98. I might just have to go rotor spam. What I can also do is target a bunch of my mob shoves around the map just to stall everything. First, we try without upgrading anything. Oh, that, I started off the round bad, though, because I had my Marine down there. If I can stun stuff efficiently with my mob shoves, that's going to help me out so much. The ceramics, though, are going to be such a big issue, I think. Actually, no, the Marines do pretty good against ceramics. I just stun the mob class balloons and deal with everything slowly. The map's so long that I have tons of time here. Oh, so many mob class balloons. All right, stun them, stun them, stun them. I need... Dude, there's so many ceramics. Dang it. Okay. Let's actually try just getting up down drafts. As crazy as that sounds. For ceramics. There's so many fortified mobs here. I don't know. I need to get this second... I need to get this other down draft up. Pretty much. Come on, baby. Come on, another marine. Thank you. We're good. Alright. Stun these. We need more stunning. Get a marine over there. On the job. We might actually defend. Holy cow. Come on, come on, come on. There's not that much left. So many ceramics though. Uh, we good? We're good. There's still a lot of BFBs though. Please, please, please. Okay, we're on round 99 now. We're on round 99. Pretty much. I think we defend this. We do. DTs are on this round. Fortified. But it's not that many. I should be able to, sh I should be able to shove them really well here. Sh strong. Another Marine. I think we're good against these. Oh, we are, dude. Let's go. Okay, we're on the BAD. We're on the BAD. Please, please, please defend. Come on. Come on, baby. I've been doing this for two and a half hours. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Put that marine on strong. Let's go. The BAD layer is actually taking a really long time to pop, but the thing is we can stun the insides immediately. So if we just pop this BAD layer, I think we're completely fine. Come on. It's almost popped. It's almost popped. Another one over here towards the back. First. We're good against those. Just CMGs now. Put one over here. That is a GG, guys. Oh my gosh. We won with Heli only. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe button with your forward. And if you guys are interested in um doing the challenge, here is the code ZMCWDHR. But that is it for today, guys. Ryan Malik out. Peace, lads.